episode 22, The Living Supplement Garden. Welcome to Thriving with Nature, a podcast that gives you the tools you need to live a modern lifestyle that helps regenerate our planet. And now your host, Hayley Weatherburn. Hello, Thrivers. Welcome to this week's episode. Oh, I am just so excited to be sharing this with you. This is a lifetime project that has been brewing inside me since 2011. And well, for the first probably, what year are we in now? (laughs) For the first eight years, it was all internal and it was quite unconscious as to what I wanted to do with this. But the last couple of years, it has burst out into the world in regards to the research that I've been doing that's starting to show how real this is. And I want to help everyone around the world. (laughs) So I want to introduce you to my passion project called the Living Supplement Garden. Now, the Living Supplement Garden is a garden that reads your body's condition and grows the right correlation of substances to improve your health and possibly heal your specific state if you had illnesses and things. So any symptoms and and things like that. So it, I call it the living supplement garden. It's like having your own medicine cabinet in your garden. And so I first read this in the book Anastasia by Vladimir Megra, probably saying his name wrong. It's chapter 11. So this is the origination. This is where the seed of this idea was planted in my head. And so I just was fascinated by this idea. But um, there's a lot of people that would say this is all fairy tale, this is all story. You know, the book has some quite out there stuff. I love the book. And in fact, in one of the episodes of my podcast, in fact, in episode six of my podcast, I read this chapter, read the main context of this chapter. So if you want to listen to what this chapter says, head over to episode six after this. So I read this, as I said, in 2011, and it's sort of stored in my brain and, you know, it wakened things. I had many epiphanies over the years. But in the last couple of years, I've started to get more and more into my passion of growing vegetables, of permaculture, of symtropic agroforestry, of so much more. And especially in my most recent research, I joined the soil advocacy training where we learned all about soil. And it was the first time that scientific research showed me the possibility that this could very well be so true, that we can grow a garden and it reads us identically to what we, our our ailments, and as you eat the fruits of this garden, it will heal you. Like, is that not profound? This bio, what's the word I'm looking for? This beautiful symbiotic relationship with your garden. You are so connected to nature. We are part of nature. And when we thrive with nature, oh my gosh, anything is possible. So this is a project. It's going to, you know, the main reason I'm starting is because of my own passion and interest. But if this truly is real and I am starting to see the evidence of it, this can help millions of people around the world you know, without having to, you know, just to keep and maintain your health, you have this beautiful little garden. And so I, there's many elements to this because, you know, the ideal way to do this is straight into the ground because nature has everything. As Dr. Elaine Ingham says in my interview I did a couple of weeks ago, there is no soil on this planet that doesn't have all the elements needed to grow healthy nutritional plants. What's missing is the microbial life that turns those nutrients and elements into plant soluble nutrients. So that's where we've gone wrong. We've killed a lot of these things and therefore it's not transferring. The plants are growing, but they don't have as much nutrients as they did 50 years ago after all the chemicals we've sprayed in the earth. So The first thing is to look at the soil. And as I said, ideally you've got it straight into the ground, but not everyone has the space to do this. If you do have the space to do it, just do directly into your ground. If not, I'm showing you how to grow a 
you know, in less than a one square meter, you can grow your own veggie supplement box. So the soil is one of the elements we've got to talk about. And I've learned a lot about that and about building soil and what's needed to create the environment for this life. So, you know, 95% of the soil is soil, sand, silt, and clay is what soil is made up of. But then you've got the 5% ideally of this organic life. And so then you've got the seed planting process, which is illustrated in Anastasia. So following that process, then there's the other process, which is the daily interaction with your garden process. So that's something that has to be outlined. Then there's the biodynamics of it all, of when to actually plant, you know, using the cycles of the moon. There's a lot of evidence out there about biodynamics and how it really enhances the the fruits and vegetables grown that way. Then there's the companion planting idea of it. So what should you plant together? And then the centropic agroforestry, which deals with over time what plants can protect each other so that you grow the best version of a veggie box inside this living supplement garden. And then there's something more advanced. It's looking at our symptoms. So what are the top symptoms? We, you know, there's a lot of study out there of what, you know, people know that carrots are good for your eyesight, right? There's an idea that it look that it helps with your eyesight. So if you had issues with your eyes, carrots could potentially be one of the things that you grow inside your veggie box. And so this is going to take time and research to get to this ideal place. My vision is that we have something you put in your top three, four, five ailments or issues and it will spit out and where you live because police places grow you know what time of the year it is where you live and what to plant together and what date and give you all that information and how to plant it so that it all plants together and it will be the ultimate in medicine boxes I call it living supplement garden where you can start to heal your conditions. And also generally, if you just want to improve your health, you know, just creating the best garden that you can. So you've got all the fruits and veggies and herbs and things in your garden so that you can just add it to a salad each day and have a piece, you know, just nibble a bit every day and interact with your garden that will maintain and create optimal health like you know those people are looking for longevity uh in the book it talks about how it actually helps reverse and slow down the aging process as well so this is super super exciting i am just over the moon that this is coming to life and so if you haven't been following me i have created my first veggie living supplement garden right now there is no seeds in it i literally two days ago finished building the soil to what i feel is a really good balance I've got the soil covered and in the next week or so I will be planting seeds. Ideally, I would do it all at the same time or not, depending on the moon cycle. So that is something that you've got to look into what's more ideal to when to plant. And so, and I've started the morning cycle process of stepping into the garden and washing down my body into the garden. Because if you listened to Dr. Elaine Ingham's interview, and I recommend you do right near the end, I introduce her to the concept. Now, Dr. Elaine Ingham has been studying this for 40 years, studying soil microbiology for 40 years. And I told her about the concept and she's a scientist, research, microscopes, looking for the evidence. And she said to me, she was dis, she did, she goes, yes, this could be real because of blah, 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 blah. And she listed. And so go and listen to that. She listed what could possibly happen, be happening as to why this garden will start to read our bodies. So yeah, so you out there, if you're listening to this and this excites something or ignites something inside of you, and you're really, really excited by it, you may be listening to this in a couple of years and hearing, you know, this is the first time I did it. And hello to you from the future of to where this has all got to. I'm excited to meet you and for you to be part of this journey. Uh, so the project is beginning. The I have an Instagram called The Living Supplement Garden. So head over there if you want to start to see and be part, you know, part of the very first people who are going to help support. I want case studies. I want people out there who ex- this excites and wants to be part of it and learn how to do this for themselves so that you can start to grow a garden that is your living supplement garden and start to heal your ailments and to bring you to optimal health. There will be, the website is should be up, thelivingsupplementgarden.com. 
And also you will be able to become a part of this journey. Like I said, I will be looking for people who want to do case studies, who want to learn how to grow this garden regardless. You have an inkling, you have a belief that this so could be true and you want to try it for yourself. I mean, the worst that could happen is you've got a beautiful, healthy garden and you eat some fruits and vegetables. (laughs) That's the worst that could happen. (laughs) So, but the best that could happen is you, you have phenomenal health. So it's really a win-win. So I will be creating a Patreon under Thriving with Nature. So you can go and look for that now. I should have it all up and running by the time this podcast is live. But this is, yeah, this is the beginning, everyone. And I don't know if you can hear the excitement in my voice, but I just see the possibilities out there from the intimate scale of just helping myself, (laughs) the personal side of like, I would, I've always wanted optimal health. I believe nature can heal. I believe our body can heal. In fact, Anastasia talks about the fact that our body and the seed are the physicians. It knows exactly what it needs and we've just got to get out of its way and be part of nature again and thrive with nature. And then from the global scale, If people start to see how intimately connected we are with nature, we will stop spraying chemicals. We will only grab fruit and vegetables that have the best possible healing properties. So this is exciting, everyone. Thank you so much. Come and be part of it. Follow me on Instagram, The Living Supplement Garden, if you're not already, and come join. Head to the website. You'll be able to sign up and hear more about it or over in Patreon. So thank you so much for being part of this. I am so, so excited. Have an amazing week and stay tuned for the next installment. Have a good day. Hey, if you enjoyed listening to my podcast, remember to subscribe to hear more. You also have to come check out the Thriving With Nature website where all of my videos, podcasts and resources are to take what we discuss here to the next level and apply it in real life. I'd love to have you come join myself and many others striving towards living a regenerative lifestyle. Go to thrivingwithnature.com.